When's the last time you ever had... Have, have you ever... Have you ever had dino nuggets? They're chicken nuggets that are shaped like dinosaurs. I think I have, perhaps. I really want some of those right now. Bro, I had... We had like a kick of like uh, smiley f- smiley face fries. You say a kick? You know, like you a hankering. Oh, I thought you meant that as like a like a unit of like measurement, like size. Like <laughs> how big is a kick exactly? We talking, you know? <laughs> the length that you can like kick your the the length the, of the a length football of field. A kick. The length of <laughs> it's however big one that you can like kick and like it goes a mile. Like mm-hmm. it, however big that is, okay. is, is how big it is. Uh, smiley fries. Have smiley you had fries. Those? I love smiley fries. Are yeah, you kidding? Good. Yeah, I'm good. all smiles when I eat smiley fries. When you see the little twinkle in my... Welcome I to the... Said, I almost said I. Anyway, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Beef Banquet After Show. Uh, my name is Miles... And this is Shut episode 60. I thought you were going to introduce me. Never mind. I'm sorry. Did I? No, you didn't. You said just said this is episode... <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> and this is episode 60. Hi, everybody. It feels good to be here. <laughs> On the, I don't know why my voice went deeper. Um, That's what you think episode 60 sounds like? I think episode 60 sounds very suave and okay. masculine and mm-hmm. also feminine if it wants to be. Spray that bitch. Spray that bitch. You think she's safe up there? <laughs> No! He's getting in there. <laughs> He's soaked. He just doesn't care. He yeah, doesn't he doesn't care, care. He's like, eventually, he has to stop. <laughs> or run out of water. <laughs> I will outlast him. I will outlast you. <laughs> when we just narrate, Timo. Um, no, what were you going to say? Uh, yeah, I'm episode 60. <laughs> so what are we doing today? Miles. I don't know, bro. It's just you. Why is it always me coming up with ideas? I don't know. What are you this doing is, today, Miles? This is, hmm? this is your podcast. What are we doing today, Miles? I, hmm? You don't ever come up with ideas from my podcast. It's, it's, I do. I guess you can Not really, because we do the same thing. Exactly. So I come up with a new movie every the, other week. Who came up, you make a movie for the I podcast. I make a new movie every other week. <laughs> you see all these movies, Henry? These didn't just happen. I all make right. these happen, I make shit right? happen in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> you think actors and directors can make movies? No, it's me. All right, all right. I'm the pencil pusher out here. All right, I'm the one. I'm the one with the big swing and dick in this. I'm now. the one who knocks. I am the one who knocks. You're the one with the squirt bottle. Mm-hmm. You're the one with the squirt bottle. Part of it is he sees the the screen moving and is like <gasps> something moving. Oh my god! I can it chase out. it. Yes, he thinks it's a mouse. He's usually the one that hits the TV when you're playing video games, right? Uh yeah now or, that, or does Bowser do that now too? that now that they're new uh yeah usually it's Jules it's been it's always been Jules in the past but now that we got these boys Jules doesn't want to hang around them team was the new the new uh, TV menace <laughs> I love what sucked your chair is yeah <laughs> well <laughs> get his ass get his ass there. <laughs> He's probably mad. He probably is. He's going to be. would be too if some idiot was spraying me. Depends on what with. What you been up to this week, man? Schooling. I'm becoming a schoolmaster. I'm a master of school. Um, like you're going to be a... Surgeon. Like a... General. Like a principal or yeah, a, a like dean, Yeah, like the guy in the I movie. Guess. I'm going to chase away a bunch of pedophiles. What? Like in possum. Oh. Can you do that? Yeah, he's, I guess he's not a pedophile. But. Bunch of pedophiles. There was like a whole herd of. pedophiles. It was like multiplicity. He cloned himself. A herd of. He sent a bunch of himself there. A herd of pedophiles. A we come up with a. We come up with a term for like a group of pedophiles. <clears throat> a gaggle. A pedo. A, uh, right. a, a pedal. A pedo? No, hold on. A pet. Uh, a, a pad of pedophilia. A pedophile. It's like a file of pedos. A pedophile. A pedophile. Oh, I can see it. That just sounds like something you'd download from the internet. I don't know why you'd download it, but, yeah. A pedophile. Oh, my God. I accidentally contracted a pedophile. What's, uh, what you been up to in school and uh, stuff? I've been editing, and um, I don't know what I'm doing right now with my hands, but um, I'm stretching a little. I Yeah, just editing. I, I'm learning rotoscoping. <gasps> 
Really? Do you know what that is? Yes. You do know what that is. You're yeah. Gonna, yeah, you're going to know how to do that, right? I don't know how to do it. I know what it is, though. Yeah. I don't have software that I can really do it with, I think. I do at the moment. I probably won't by the end of the year. But <laughs> right now, we're doing assignments with it. So cool. I'm going to try to uh, think of some clever stuff. I want to do something where I uh, am playing TV static on like the, the TV, obviously. And I touch the screen. And then I become static. I think that'll be fun. That's cool. Yeah. I and like then, that idea. And then I think I'm going to pick up the remote and change channels and stuff. That's cool. Is that for a project? Just for an assignment. I mean, it's not for anything specific, but it's just That's a to cool learn. Idea. To, okay. to love and to learn. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. One of the one of the videos that you have change it be should be one of our videos. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that, honestly. Like, what could yeah. we apply or what could we shoot then? And then I could also... You know, edit too. Mm-hmm. I want to do some opacity stuff where I make one of us look like a ghost or something. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that'd be a lot of fun. We gotta, I gotta find. I guess we'll f- we'll try and look for um, software that you can do that with. That's like free. Yeah, or you know that we already have can have access to. Yeah, I gotta see if anything you can do if, if there's anything you can do in um Da Vinci because I don't know if there's a lot with. That I or doubt not. it because yeah. I because it's. Da Vinci it's not and like, like Vegas Pro is more like video editing, right? And it's not I think, like effects based, and that's you know. and and you're using it's a, it's After Effects, yeah. So it's the After Effects is more just like effects for effects not, after not, not video the movie editing is done, yeah. Yes, you know because yeah, um, I've also been. No, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um. What are you gonna say? No, I, there's really there really hasn't been much. I mean, I've been doing producing stuff, but like we're not really doing like practical stuff yet. Uh, we're having to get, we're getting all of our uh, positions lined up for the thesis film, which mm. we're shooting in March. Or Is it February. all one big? We're doing two groups. Okay, so I'm gonna be part of one of those groups. Obviously, I can't be a part of both. I tried. Dang, dude. Yeah, I have to pick a side. I um, thought that trend was over. Are you guys? Is it like? One of you wins. Yeah. Okay. And um. And also, we we just shit all over the other group. We we'll just like treat them like. Um. um also, uh, what are you? What are you? Do you know yet what your position is? I'm just a regular, average, run of the mill guy. You're. That's all. You're just. All, you're just like a normie I'm guy just on there. set. You're just like, hey guys, what's up? Hey, oh, Henry, you guys are you filming really a movie. To, you really, you really need to be here. <laughs> You just like drink. You got your cup of coffee. You're like, "Hey guys, how's, how's it going?" One of the professors is like, "This shot is too perfect." Henry, get in there and fuck up the shot. I'm like, oh okay, I'm on it. Oh sorry guys, I was on my phone. Um, yeah, no, I'm I don't know yet, but I'm trying to pitch to uh, run the camera department. Run like behead of into the, camera? the ground. I mean, behead the camera, yeah. No, <laughs> I want to. I want to take the the head off this dragon. That's actually funny because we actually have a, a camera called the Dragon at our school. It's a red. I like how I could like say nothing for five minutes and you could just have your own conversation. <laughs> yeah, I could. Listen, I do it all the time at home. <laughs> By yourself? <laughs> I just like I keep the windows open. My like neighbors are upstairs chilling on the balcony, just listening to this shit. And they think you're. They think someone else is home with you. Yeah, <laughs> I, d- I do two different voices. <laughs> it's like Psycho. <laughs> Norman. No, I'm in. Get, oh, in get in here. I'm sorry, mommy. <laughs> he's a little boy. <laughs> oh, he's a little boy in that he's situation. A, I almost said George Clooney. Um, uh, <laughs> George, we, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. Yeah, George, George Clinton. George Clinton. <laughs> George Clinton. Um, We're like George Clinton. <laughs> because he gets a lot of pussy? Well, yeah. Because he has a bunch. Like he just yes. <laughs> takes off his suit and he it's is, just everywhere. He is like a big got a pussy. Bunch of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey big boy like what you see that wasn't a good Bill Clinton voice but you I get wasn't. the idea um what were we saying classes I'm pitching classes. to run the camera department so does that mean you're just like gonna be in charge of like cameras essentially yeah cataloging all the cameras we have and then uh selling them out to the students no. <laughs> <laughs> Distributing. dude I'm trying to talk to you <laughs> I know I know I'm sorry <laughs> You know, I so I'm in charge of like setting up the visual look of it for the director, making sure it's aligning with what they so were the, thinking. Not the cin- cinematographer. No, I am the cinematographer, or oh, okay. want to be. That's what I'm pitching for. Okay. Yeah. Cinematographer is yeah, head of yep pitching. that department. They're yeah, they help design 
they they know they they have the technical know how to make it happen basically mm-hmm. they know what sort of equipment to shoot with um especially if like a producer's got like a budget like you can work with this this and this and then they figure mm-hmm. out how to make that happen within those Martins, specs yes yeah. um i love how jules is like nestled right now she's kind of like her head eyes one in way between but it, your yeah, thighs it's like yeah. well not that just like the way it's like cocked to the side and her body's like <laughs> facing one way and she's just like <laughs> um but anyway yeah um so that's yeah what i'm hoping for yeah hoping i get it we should know by the end of the month i think is when we find out and then i wrote we're pitching do you have a month to film or no uh we don't know the time frame yet i think it's like seven days at the max and it's going to be a short film i think 20 minutes i think maybe 30 that's not bad depending i don't know and you don't so you you know the only thing you know so far is just like who's producing it we know who's directing it um, we okay. know what the story is looking like so far. Okay. And there are going to be lots of rewrites and stuff. Um, the actual producing has yet to be done, too, in terms of, like, getting a budget and everything. Because mm-hmm. they have to fundraise. They have to do all that stuff. And um, all of this stuff is students. Like, it's not... Teachers aren't involved with, like, any of the directing. They're guiding there. us through the process. Yeah. We just have to go out and do it ourselves in terms okay. of the actual, like, legwork. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's... Yeah. No, it's a lot of fun, though. To see, I mean... Producing honestly seems like a nightmare. Um, I I'd, thought you were you you were interested, but then you changed your mind. Yeah, uh, I mean, I could still see it eventually, maybe. I guess mm-hmm. a, getting to that point at some point. Um, and honestly, I mean, it might be fun to just deep dive into it at some point in a couple of years. Because it's really just like just budgeting. It's right? budgeting. Um, well, you're looking at marketing too, and for like mm-hmm. how it's how it's going to be distributed. Mm-hmm. Um, with streaming services, how are you going to get the in- attention to it? Um, mm-hmm. and then there's all sorts of legal stuff to get into as well. Yeah. Typically it's a good idea to hire an entertainment lawyer. Um, <laughs> it sounds like a lawyer just like, he's like in the middle of like a deposition and then he just like starts struggling. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, so that's like a good idea. Uh, you figure out obviously, yeah, personnel, who you're hiring. Cause you're mm-hmm. in charge of the whole project. Yeah. Really. You, you get investors involved and mm-hmm. get the backing and then you're helping see it through. And yeah. Um, so there's a lot to it. It's like like the producer's like in charge, the director of the behind the scenes of the behind the scenes. Yeah, pretty much. They're Almost. running the whole operation, really. Yeah. Um, and then they're entrusting the director to run the set. Not run the set, but I mean, you know. They, yeah, they, yeah. They, they hire the people that they think will work best for it. And mm-hmm. Can do it. And if they don't like those people, they fire them. And then they hire the, the, the right ones, I guess. Mm-hmm. You know, it's Yeah, it's all entirely their call. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not like you, you your guys as a producer can... Uh, change yeah within the within the student structure it's definitely not as like Mm -hmm. real world specific i mean obviously you can't just fire all the students (laughs) and hire like you know a bunch of like hold that thought yeah so so uh did you guys you guys pick the teams yeah we had team captains and they pretty much the producers yeah they're they're choosing like i mean so each of us is like gonna pitch for like our positions our respective stuff Mm -hmm. so like on the 30th i think or no no, that's a saturday right um i think no we have to have our stuff in i think by the 30th like for like we have to do like i think um pitch decks or like uh things that like like packages of like this is what i want to do and this is what Mm -hmm. i've done and such and such yeah we're like i think they're interviewing us about those like the the following tuesday or something like that Mm -hmm. Because like we said, I'm I'm in the producer's class. I'm just not producing anything. Yeah. For it, so I'm just you know sort of there as part of that, and you know helping the actual producers to figure out you know what they're gonna do or what their decisions are, and like offer feedback on like the pitches and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, we'll probably know sometime early next month. It's interesting. It's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um. Because yeah, I mean you gotta pitch yourself really for the project too mm-hmm. in the real world. Uh, and I it's guess. All, and they also like they all know your strength and your weak your strengths and your weaknesses and yeah. they they should know like what you're going to be good at and yeah, what you're capable of yeah it's definitely best to keep like straight honest about like what you're what mm-hmm. you can do yeah um, and they've all they've worked with you at on least on projects before oh yeah all Absolutely. of them or just um, you stick to the same people for as as we've gone on i've definitely stuck more with a core group of individuals mm-hmm. who shall remain nameless <laughs> miles uh, <laughs> i'm not i'm not in this class no you're not but um, <clears throat> you're like an adjunct. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm like a what? Adjunct, like professor. You know, like they bring in. Dude, like you can't school. say that. What? 
adjunct. I don't know. It sounds like a, w- a bad word. <laughs> it's a slur. <laughs> sounds like a slur. For professors dude. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's a huge dividing like gap between adjunct and, and regular professors. <laughs> I imagine there is. <laughs> there probably is, yeah. The wage gap is just disgusting. Anyway, what were we talking? Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, a core group of people that I've definitely come to work with more. Like that, like on the 48-hour ch- uh, film thing that I was telling you about. Mm-hmm. Like there was, I've worked with those, like those people there, I like quite a bit. I yeah. like more projects than than most. <clears throat> um, but yeah, um, sorry. What was the original question you were asking? If there was one that was better than the other? No, I don't even know. It was, you 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 answered my question. Yeah, pre- pretty much um, all the ones that I had. Yeah. Well, yeah, and so yeah, the, obviously, yeah, like I said, the producers are picking. They've already picked directors, and they think they've already pretty much picked writers too to like rewrite because they're going to rewrite. Um, rewrite some of them. Um, so you guys were given scripts. We had to like about a couple weeks ago. Uh, we had to turn in ideas that we might want to produce. Okay. And then we had people pitch like every, to everyone. Yeah. yeah. Submitted. They, okay. Yeah. They opened it up to like the senior class, and I, I thought they they we were thinking they were going to open it up even to like some of the juniors too to mm-hmm. to write stories uh, concepts that we could then produce. But yeah. uh, I think it was mainly just a couple from the seniors and. Then we then we picked the producers, the the faculty, you know, the, the people running the class, mm-hmm. the uh, professors. They all picked who was who was going to do it, yeah, who was going to produce. And then those producers, they're working to obviously pick, pick everyone. everyone for, it, yeah. yeah, weed out everybody else. And you, and I'm sorry for forgetting, but you aren't a senior yet. Are you, I am. Oh, you are. Yep. Okay. This is my second to last semester. I graduate in May. Dude, I'm almost there. You're so uh... <laughs> stupid. No, oh. I was <laughs> gonna, gonna say you're, gro- like you're growing up. That's what I was trying to say. No, I'm getting so like much you're, more. You're mature. already a senior citizen. It's pretty great. <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It feels great. Are you excited to be here with the rest of the seniors? I mean, I, I'm gonna keep asking this probably at least once every month. Yes, I am a senior. Exci- are you excited? <laughs> oh, to graduate? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding? Yeah. It's it's like. I don't know. I'm ready to get out, you know, out of there. <laughs> that hell hole. It's ready just to get fucking the fuck out of here. I just listen. You don't know the horrors I've seen. Like it's It's probably know, not that bad. No, it's not that bad, but <laughs> it just gets like monotonous a little mm-hmm. bit, you know. But I can't imagine what you're gonna do for the next few ten months. Years. A few months like right now, you mean like after I graduate? Till you graduate. Till I graduate. Oh it yeah. It seems like you know, you already got your thesis going. Yep, we've already got that going. It, yeah, I'm excited for that. And like you said, March or April is when we're shooting. So Oh, so you you're picking We still now, have time. We're picking positions right now. And, and then, you're getting the writing out of the way. Yep. And then producing stuff, finding budgeting and everything. That's really gonna be happening in Ooh, a couple months here too. Okay. Getting so ready for it. It's gonna be a while. It's yeah, it'll okay. be a process. And you also got the other thing. Vol- the not the volunteer work, but um like the work study stuff? Yeah, the work study. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm doing some some fun stuff on the side. Yeah, don't tell the school. Have you started yet? Um, you, have you have you not found one yet? Oh, you mean internship? That's what I meant. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, no, what, yeah, did you, what did you mean work study? That there's some stuff I used to do. Um, I don't say any specifics. I guess I don't. Yeah, I, please. It's fine too, but probably not. Um, I do. I I do. Um, some videography stuff that I did through the school and I used to do those. I think I told you about them and I've been starting to pick that up again. Was it the wedding? No, no separate um, thing. Yeah. It was a separate thing. Do you want me to just say it and you can cut it out or sure. Yeah. Cut this out. Miles. Miles. Cu- ah, um, but yeah, no internship. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't found one yet. I'm still looking, but, um, we've still got time to do that. And the nice thing is we don't have to get our full on internship hours, uh, until the deadline is like, I think, like the end of next year so like so the class the internship class starts in january and our last semester start of our last semester uh we have through that year to get it so like we'll still we'll still walk at graduation even if we haven't gotten our hours mm. we still have that the rest of those months afterwards to get okay. to finish hours if we need to because okay. we need 135 hours of internships so you could really bust those out probably oh yeah very easily if i find the right structure especially considering that the only other class i have besides internship next semester is thesis which is we're yeah. already producing yeah and since if especially if i get you know the position of like cinematographer at most i'm really mm-hmm. going to be just meeting with the directors and directors like there's multiple uh one the yeah. singular director 
and uh, just sort of getting ready for that, really, and then shooting that. So, and then once that's done, that's really my part's over. So, yeah, and I just have internship stuff really to do and going to class. Yeah, so and they are paid, right? You're you are getting paid for internships or no? Not necessarily. Uh, it might be something where we 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 don't at all. Um, which is why uh, my lovely parents and I have uh been talking about saving up and you know how to how to really oh, plan for that, that that's right yep yeah. that's right just getting ready so i have been mm-hmm. um living frugal and poor like i <laughs> should be the whole time because <laughs> i am i mean i guess you could still sort of consider it like a class almost and just yeah. kind of absolutely still because you're still going to be working yeah it's just going to be tough yeah mm-hmm. okay No, it should be. I'm looking forward to it, honestly. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be fun. I like I said. I think I want to check out some news stations. Hopefully, mm-hmm. I think that'd be a lot of fun. But we'll see. Yeah, mm-hmm. or or even you know, I I might even look at some editing stuff too. Even though I don't like editing the most, <laughs> I'm starting to get a handle on it more, especially with After Effects, because like I've been doing a lot more with that. Yeah, and like, and I think pushing uh, because I've been pushed to do it because of the class. Like it's yeah. become easier. Like oh, I can do this and that. Yeah, I would love to get into it. I just you know, I need to find the right software, I think. Yeah, which we should, we can do some hunting on that too if we want at some point. Not right now. That would be very boring. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just, you just hear a bunch of us just like click. click Although click we've click definitely click. done that. Like, we just have. looked up stuff. Yeah. We do that. But then we cut it out. I'm going to look it up right forget. now. I'm just going to look it up right now. Okay, okay. sure. It's <laughs> fine. Just, um, make sure that, just make sure that you tap the, the phone loud enough to know that we're doing something. And then wait like two like two seconds. You're not waiting two seconds. Miles, give it a pause. Okay, now <laughs> do it. No. Um. Well, I didn't even really type. I mean, I typed exactly what I wanted, but it didn't really. But I. But it actually I turned actually, out. I thought you were typing gibberish. No, but I typed out what what I wanted, but that didn't make sense in terms of what I needed to look up. So. Uh, just rotoscoping software. Well, I just looked at free After Effects, and that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Here's a loophole of how to get After Effects for free. <laughs> uh, similar programs, I guess. Similar software. Yeah, that's what I want. Um, FX Home Hit Film Pro, Blender. Okay, so I've I can use Blender. Blender. Yeah, I have Blender already. I have not touched it in probably a month. Um, because remember, I, I had talked. To, okay. Um, I was going to learn how to do 3D software and stuff. I was going to try and learn, like, 3D animation. But, yeah. Um, Just kinda but got... I haven't touched it. I haven't I uh, haven't really done anything with it. That'd be kind of fun to do at some point, I think. We it could, is. Like, yeah, it we is. We should, like, write some stuff out. It's very... I'd love to get into that, like, honestly. Like, if you thought editing was kind of boring... Oh, God, I bet. 3D it's, software so much is, to it. There is a lot to it, yes. Yeah. That's why I kind of why I think I've just dropped it Yeah, almost. right. You kind of got to take it up, yeah. The best paid time. for After Effects alternatives. Number Hit one. Film Pro, uh, $350. But that's just total, right? Not, yeah, I think I think it's like a one time price. Good. Yeah. This actually wouldn't seem oh it says reason to avoid not cheap. Um uh, oh it's only one year. Oh, so it is. If you're a pro video looking, we recommend this video editor. But it does offer a feature set that's very similar to After Effects for a one off price of three hundred pounds. With that, you get twelve months of software updates. Oh, okay. So you get it, but you don't get after the twelve months of, of software updates. Oh, okay. So it's after that. You know what I mean? But you can stick. I mean, it, it's, it's the same still, sort it of still editor, works. Yeah, you know, and just sort of work with it. my my buddy um, that I actually used to do some videography stuff with um, would use DaVinci, but he'd use the same like version. He wouldn't download the next one because it was just so problematic with his, his computer. Yeah, and it still worked for him. You know what I mean? And granted, mm-hmm. that was different because it wasn't after effects stuff, but. All the same. Apple Motion. Apple Motion. So that's for the Mac? I think so. Yeah, I mean, it it's is. it's got Apple in it, so. Uh, the best After Effects alternative for Final Cut Pro users. And that's Final. Cut. Okay, yeah, cut this uh, out. Mac cut this out. only. Ah. Filmora Pro. Filmora Pro. 
I've heard of Filmora. I have too. They're like video... Something. Radio stars. Um, a good choice for intermediate level editors. Like Joel. Um, oh, but they have... Well, they have like a... Yeah, they have annual, lifetime, and unlimited. Uh-huh. I don't know what the difference is. Free lifetime version. Lifetime you have to pay. Not, not Hollywood ready. Okay. Meaning... Don't use it in Hollywood, <laughs> or your computer will explode. Black Magic Fusion Sixteen. I didn't know that Black did. Ooh, that sounds kind of. I uh, might look that up. Pro compositing available for Linux. Commercial work for free. What you say it was called? Some advanced features not free. So okay. that's it's Black Magic's Fusion Sixteen. Um, I will look that up. That is I might... my. Uh, I typically use to create visual effects and digital compositing for commercials, TV shows, and movies, including Hunger Games, Guardians of the Galaxy, Empire, NCIS, American Horror Story. Um, with a friendly user interface familiar to those who have used DaVinci Resolve, Fusion is centered around a node-based system that offers the compositor a huge amount of flexibility and could potentially save a lot of time, as well as tools for visual effects, motion graphics, color correction, and audio post-production. You, will, you also get support for 3D and a 360-degree workspace that allows you to edit VR scenes in real time. Oh, I might have that Fusion. Oh, you might? It might be built into my current um, Oh yeah. Uh, DaVinci. The free version of, Fu- of Fusion does- doesn't feature watermarks. It doesn't. Unless well, you then what's the point? Unless projects, albeit with a maximum resolution of 1080p. <laughs> nice. So I would recommend, if you do have it, learning it at the same time yeah as I agree. as as after effects yeah um because I, I, can... I, I find um that can definitely translate. a lot of a lot of programs are pretty similar yeah honestly um it's just most of it's like just sort of like learning their own ways of working right. around things well and even like the practice of like how to do it and like what's possible mm-hmm. like you can then like translate oh this is how you do it in this one and yeah and here's one that is open source what's it called uh, Natron. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me do that. Oh, wait, no, you already said it. Never mind. It's gonna do Although it, it does say not great for motion graphics. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, that's what we want. So, so uh... Sorry, but you Blender, got to get got. Veteran 3D soft- software that keeps getting better and better. Oh, yeah. Um... Oh, no. Que feo. What? It's from a Senor Wooly song. Um, what is it? Oh, it's the one where it's like that guy Victor. Did you ever see any of those videos? You remember yeah, yeah. I, it sounds familiar. The to guy me. Victor, he's, like, he's supposed to have like really like gorgeous hair or whatever, and he's like, "Oh no, this guy's really ugly." <laughs> it was just like this bald guy with glasses. A senior Wooly is that like a YouTube thing? Uh, I can't remember. There was like a, he, I think he had a site. He I don't even know if it's like an actual person. His, his <laughs> name his name is actually Senior Wooly. No, um. It was just like a site that they showed us in Spanish class that had a bunch yeah, of Yeah, I kind of... Senior Wooly, musical artist. He's a musical artist. He's he, he's not just a seeker. What does he say, Ron? In, uh, Do you mind? He's an artist. And siblings will be mad at me for not remembering that. Uh, Kitty, come over here. Learn with graphic novels. Learn your place. I'm just kidding. Kappa and FERPA compliant. Miles, you can't say that. FERPA? Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Fupa. Aren't those those people that live up in the mountains? What about Fupa? It, like Mount Upper... <laughs> Fupa? Fat Upper Pussy Area. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that's okay. Fupa is? Yeah. yeah. You think Fupa fu- is okay, but Furpa isn't? No, because isn't that like the... In- Sherpa? Indigenous... Yeah. Sherp- oh, that's what it is. Sherpa. Sherpa? Something like that? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, yeah. It's Sherpa. That's the people that live in Mount Everest. So what's Furpa? Inside of Mount Everest. I don't know. <laughs> Inside it, they dug a hole. I said Mount Empress. <laughs> Mount Empress. <laughs> Mount Empress. Come on, just to make like it. We just put a wig on Mount Everest. So it's female. I guess it could already be classified as female. I don't know. I don't know. Is it a she? It's a it's they. A, it's a they. It's 2021. We got to take it. We got to take it like a man. <laughs> it's like, it's 2021. It's time to climb Mount Everest. Let's go, Miles. <laughs> We've got to take it for our own. End of end of 2021, Henry and I traveled to Mount Everest and climbed the hell out of it. Yeah, I'll climb that mountain. <laughs> um, or we could just wait till uh, Waterworld happens. <laughs> and just, you know, we'll, we'll flood could, the... Could just wait until it melts itself, you know, it melts the polar ice caps. Yeah, 
Yeah. Have you ever had Oreo ice caps from uh, Oreo ice cap from Tim Hortons? No. I don't know. I just, I just thought of that because you said what ice are caps. they? It's like a uh, frozen coffee drink with Oreos in it. Oreo ice caps. Oh no! I gotta look it up, Henry. And then you gotta put an ad in here for from Tim Hortons. No. No in fact, ad. Cut that out. Yeah. Cut that Can out. Can we even say their names? Cut out the ad that we had already recorded before the podcast. <laughs> Cut it out. Don't put that <laughs> you're, in. You're like thinking about it. Like you know what? That's a bad idea. Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it out. Iced cap. Oh, mm-hmm. it's like a cappuccino. Yeah. No cap. Copycat Tim Hortons Oreo iced. Oh. Copy cap. <sighs> Do you drink coffee at all? No, you don't drink coffee. And I know I've totally asked you this, but has, I, does Connor drink coffee or tea or anything like that? She doesn't know. Okay. We. I drink well, tea. Well, actually, she's started to drink caf, uh, like Monster or Red Bull or something. I don't know. Um, it fucks me up. So I don't drink yeah, I hate caf- I drink. caffeinated I hate uh, anything, really. They suck. Oh, you, no, so nothing. Okay. I don't. I don't. I. Except boba tea. You've had boba tea that's before. That's not ca- caffeinated. Oh. I make sure it's not caffeinated. Okay. You make sure of it. Um, <laughs> so I'm talking. Imagine you like reaching inside. <laughs> is this caffeinated? <laughs> squeezing, You're the squeezing sh- the balls. <laughs> Just like pulling on sn- me. This is caffeinated. <laughs> like trying to sniff it as it like gets in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, no coffee. Uh, no caffeinated tea, no Red Bull, no Monster. I've I've, I've never had Monster. I have tried a Red Bull though. Um, it's just it fucks my stomach up, and it's like I don't think it's worth the energy that it gives you. Yeah. For like going in the bathroom and shitting my brains out. <laughs> yeah, that's the the energy's for. Like we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna prep you. You're gonna need this energy later though. So mm-hmm. you are gonna need this energy later. Trust us. Trust us. And it doesn't ever feel like enough energy. No. Never is. Although, it. although the one time I had the Red Bull, I was just like screaming in the car. Really? <laughs> I was just like, ah! <laughs> yeah. You're like, they're trying to restrain you. <laughs> Let me at him. Let me at him. <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> it's like that one time when your uh, mom's car got re- rear-ended. And you're just oh, tripping yeah. on Red Bull. You punch out the back windshield. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, yeah. I I think I talked about it before, but the only time I ever really had a Red Bull was I didn't eat anything that morning, and my hand was just shaking by the end of it. <laughs> so like it was just a bad time. Yeah, I thought it would give me energy throughout the day. It didn't. Well, I haven't. You hear there was um someone I think it was on Couch Hop. They they just drink a lot of Bang and energy drink. Bang. Well, Bang. Okay. Yeah. It's like a it's a different one, and yeah. they're just like they have so many of them. And their hands were just shaking. <laughs> they had like a bunch. Like, yeah, I think so. Like ten or something, something like that. Yeah, it's dangerous. Don't do that. Jeez, old Pete, thanks a lot of energy drinks. And there's people at my work who um shotgun Red Bull. Shut the fuck up. That was the cat, not my stomach. That definitely was not. <laughs> yeah, the cat. It was uh, the dog. Um, and also my stomach. As I said, people shotgun Red Bulls at work sometimes. Yeah, they like do the thing where they like. They like punch a hole in the can and just yeah, gross. Yeah, I don't know why you do that. I don't either. They just want to live on the edge. Yeah, it's they Red Bull. They want to see in why, 3D though? without 3D glasses. <laughs> like we don't already see in 3D. <laughs> I don't know. What I see, I see two dimensionally. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just like constantly bumping into shit because I have no depth perception. <laughs> Fuck. How would that look? Just everything's just like a flat, like a picture at all times. <laughs> I'm just like I'm moving sideways. I'm like, hey Miles, how's it going? How's it going? <laughs> Cause it, I don't know. It like you, you know, know, you could say height and like width. Yeah. No okay. So so they say that when you close your eye, like you close one eye, you can see one dimension. Uh, not not one dimensionally, but like two dimensionally. Oh, I don't know. Cause you can still see. Like I can see. Um, I mean, it's, I guess it is harder. We should just ask someone who only has one eyeball. Do you have bad de- depth perception? Yeah. Do you have bad death perception? Cause you're going to die. No. Cause I mean, I sort of can tell that like this mic is closer to me than like your mic or something. Yeah. yeah the guitar. Bowser. I don't know. Bowser. I don't know. It's weird. It's, yeah. Depth is a strange thing. 
So is death. I was, uh, yeah, you said it, not me. Hey, remember, this is the Halloween episode. We need to talk oh, about fuck. Halloween stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, that's right. We were just, I forgot to decide if we were ever going to do any spooky stories, but. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't. Um, we were, like, talking about it for a second. We'll make up but, some right on the spot. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. You start us off. Oh, are we going to do, like, we could do, like, we add a sentence. We each add a sentence. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we'll do that. We'll try yeah. that. Okay. Um, uh, little Timmy woke up with a start, uh, when his dad bust into his room. We've got to go, son. The IRS is after us. <laughs> and they're out for blood. <laughs> and they're out for blood. Rev's chainsaw. <laughs> uh, so that was, and they're out for blood. Oh, oh, so my turn. So now, so yeah. Okay. Now, Cause I was just adding on to what, to what he said. All right. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Timmy, grab your crossbow. Yeah. Uh, bang! The IRS comes uh, through the... You can hear the door downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> this is English. Um, I thought you were going to say they just, they just shoot Timmy. Like <laughs> no, they're... <laughs> bang! Timmy's dead. <laughs> Dad has no choice but to run out the door. It was bang. The front door bursts open. Mm-hmm. You can't see anything happening, but you can hear it. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess. I guess I'm just sort of like I always imagine stories, obviously. So yeah. I'm just imagining no, yeah. it. Happen. I like that. You're adding. You're adding some ambiance. Mm-hmm. Um, so you don't see them come in because you know you're. We're in Timmy's room right now, and his dad mm-hmm. just bust in. Nuts it is kind of weird that we're here, but yeah. Yeah. Um, I did just say nuts blazing. By the way, I, uh, I didn't catch that, but I exactly. like it. Um, exactly. You don't pay attention. <laughs> You fucker. Mm-hmm. Um, so they bust open the the front door. Period. Sure. Okay. Um. The dad grabs Timmy by the and, neck. <laughs> Let's go, son. I was gonna say the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like I think they did like Timmy just goes limp and he's like flopping in the wind or whatever like as he's dragging him out the window well, yeah he's like he's like got him like this with his head like this he's like he's like about to snap his neck <laughs> no he's running with him it looks like he's got him in a sleep I mean, he hole. might but um, accident sorry Timmy cord. I'm gonna have to put you down um they uh yeah anyway the IRS the... can't find out we've, we had you yes <laughs> they must never know uh, otherwise I'll have to pay a bunch of fucking money in, 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 in taxes. Well, wouldn't that make your... Actually, if anything, wouldn't that make it go down? I mean, that's why I, I'm... i We're trying to have a kid. They're tax deductible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you meant like you and me. Yeah, dude, you and me. So we can get a free tax break. God. For them in, <laughs> that actually kind of scared me. The IRS. Might not even be Kai, you know? Might be yeah. just the creature over there. The creature from the IRS department. <laughs> anyway, he, he grabs Timmy and they jump out the window. Mm-hmm. The dad, not the IRS. Mm-hmm. They burst out the window. Uh, on the, oh, out, out of Timmy's on, window? Yeah, onto the backyard. Onto the backyard? Okay. Into the backyard. No, into, the, into the woods. Within the backyard. Within okay. the backyard. Um, <laughs> it's just, there's just a bunch of trees in their backyard. It's not a yard. It's just a forest. <laughs> but then like on the other side, it's very, like clear. A very isolated forest. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll lose them in the forest. Let's go. Uh, yeah. So they run through their little isolated forest in the in their, in their backyard. Mm-hmm. Um, and they make it out the other side into the clearing. Mm-hmm. And they're clear. Um, but uh, just then, they, they hear a voice shout out over the megaphone. Timmy and uh, Timmy's dad, you better uh, you better surrender now with your hands up. Or we're, uh, we're going to come at you with everything we've got. And then you hear them revving up a bunch of chainsaws. <laughs> This is just for starters, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, that was all one sentence, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like It's a it. run-on. Um, Those are allowed. Uh, they turn to me and... <laughs> they get turned. No, let me <laughs> let me speak. Let me sp- You want to go in there? <laughs> Hi, Timmy, Timmy and his dad turn around to see... <laughs> Timmy Turner. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy and his dad turn around to. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was good. It was good. Timmy and his dad turn around. I can't say it. Um, turn around to see uh, the IRS. 
Um, Full-on riot gear. Can I speak? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, they're like uh, slowly coming together um, <laughs> as one like big, big IRS. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say Irish for some reason. Big IRS. Big Irish. Irish <laughs> big Irish block. All right. I'm, I'm hating this story. Let's just fucking talk you, about something else. No. You, you got to. I thought you were gonna go into this great thing about how it was the blob. I was, from... but you're calling them Irish now, and I'm like, uh, I'm, oh, I was I'm just kidding about bored. that. I'm that was funny. Bored. Continue. They become one big IRS thing. There we go. Go. Okay. Your turn. It, it turns out they're the blob from society. That's it. Timmy's dad uh, <laughs> <It's> called. <suicidal. laughs> Like that's it. He's, no, he's like, this story is awful. I'm sorry, Timmy. I gotta leave you. <laughs> leave you on I was gonna say, what I was gonna say was he calls up his friend the general and has him send nukes right to where he is. <laughs> to him specifically. Well, you know, he's yeah. gonna kill him anyway. He's gonna take him down. With him. He's gonna take him down with a nuke. He, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he this, called, is a good, this is a good scary story. It, it, yeah, I was gonna say it's turning into an action. Um. Um. <clears throat> So yeah, the the blob, uh, the the nuke comes down upon the blob, but does not kill them because it gets absorbed by the blob. So the blob is still intact. Mm-hmm. Period. Okay. Um. Uh, Timmy's dad is like, "I'll if I give you if I give you Timmy, will you uh, will you quit following me?" <laughs> yes, and the, the yes, the the blob answers. <laughs> it's, it's, it sounds like one a bunch of voices. Yeah, yeah. They 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 just dis- they uh the blob discusses the prospect before immediately answering yes. Mm-hmm. Discusses before immediately saying yes, yes, do it. A uh, period. No. Okay. She's fine. It's She's her fine. usual spot, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's my house, Miles. Okay. <laughs> Although now she's gonna get bothered by Bowser and get all bothered and hot. Um, what were we saying? The blob said yes. Okay, we'll take so Timmy. Timmy's dad throws Timmy into the blob, fucks it, and it keeps running. Yeah, it keeps running. Um, wait, sorry. Yeah, was that your sentence then? I kind of answered sure. for you. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm done, man. I'm done with the story. Okay. Uh, Timmy's dad gets eaten by the blob. In the end. There you yeah, go. Yeah. There you go. He d- he didn't run very he, fast. He he uh he's uh scraped his leg and uh is is Get, limp- limping. Gets tetanus. And, and tetanus. Tetanus. <laughs> I thought you said tetanus. Like, gets what does that tetanus. Mean? Gets tetanus. It's similar to she tetanus. My, she but... touched my peppy, Steve. <laughs> Remember some multiplicity. Anyway. Uh yeah, he gets a scrape on his leg and is um, um and dies of tetanus. <laughs> <laughs> I was like trying to do like it's like at least give it a little bit of suspense like he's running from the blob. <laughs> he just he just collapses on the spot from tetanus. <laughs> like <laughs> um oh, I've got tetanus. I was going to point out something that uh it's the- it's sort of related to, you know, creepiness and scary stuff. I was thinking about um there's uh, a certain, like, I don't know what to call it, like uh, a stereotype, not, not a stereotype, a um, a thing that happens in scary movies sometimes. A trope. A trope. Thank you. That's, yeah. what, I, that's what I was lo- looking for. Yes. You're welcome. Um, I am uh, the human the source. <laughs> and scary stories, too. Imagine me saying that with uh, Daffy Duck's voice. Sorry, go ahead. I'll shut up. <laughs> It's very loud, Jules. Yeah. Um. Are you all right over there? I'm not speaking, so I don't interrupt you. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Damn, Timo. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Timo's not even in the room. You can't even. It was point Bowser. Blame it's Bowser. You can't even point blame at Timo. He's not even in the room. I said Bowser. You said Timo. Oh, that's a <laughs> disgusting one, Timo. Honestly. Sorry, what Is were that you saying? why you had the mask on? <laughs> In preparation. That's what I was wondering. I was no, I was actually doing that. As, I was doing that as a joke. Actually, yeah, I know. Just to like, so you were I farting would. as a joke. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just kidding, guys. It's a joke. 
I'm going to spray my computer. <laughs> what is happening days? right now? Okay. You were saying something. My apologies. It's fine. Let me just... <laughs> I'm going to spray jewels to show uh, you. Man, no, I'm not going to do that. I know. You would. Um, you would too much. Pussy. What I was saying before I was really interrupted... Um, jewels. There's a trope in scary movies and scary stories that I like, which is... Uh, it's sort of similar to what was in Caveat, like, like at the end, mm-hmm. where, like, you um, you think it's going to be, you're, like, you think it's normal, something's normal, like, uh, like, you think he's the one hiding in the wall, and he's the one who's cutting himself out, mm-hmm. but it's not, and they reveal that it's not, Simil- and, and, and what I'm, where I'm going with this is, like, uh, is like, um, I'm trying to think of a good example. I can't think of, of a good example in like a movie or something, but like, for example, um, you, you like, uh, you get a knock on the door or something and it's your brother and then you're like, Hey bro, come on in. And then you like go to the bathroom and then you get a call on the, on, on your phone. That's like your real brother. And is like, yo, I'm on the on the John. I'm on the John. <laughs> no, he's like, I'm about I'm to blow my, up your toilet. He's like, I'm on my way over. Uh, um, don't uh, eat use the a- bathroom. Eat ass. <laughs> eat ass. Especially if it's in the bathroom. Oh, um, then you just realize, like, oh, that's not my brother who I just let into my apartment. Mm-hmm. Like that. Like that. That. that that's the kind of thing I really like. Yeah. We should do something with that. The setup, like, it's like a setup, and then you think it's one thing. Yeah, you think you think it's a completely normal situation. Like, I I put myself in that situation, and I'm like, I would be fucking freaked the hell out. Yeah. If it was like, you know, you came over, and then you're like, hey, Miles, I'm on my way. Like, what? Yeah. What? <laughs> you're not already here? Oh, my God. <laughs> the text is coming from inside the house. <laughs> um, th- Wait, so what was the point? Of saying that, I was just saying. Oh, I liked oh that's it. one you like. That's yeah, yeah. I, I like that. I was like, why did yeah. you bring that up? <laughs> no, yeah. And um, it was, and it was like in caveat, they did that as well. That yeah, kind of, yeah. That kind of, something similar to that. Mm-hmm. Set you up for one thing and then knocked you down with another. Mm-hmm. That was a it. Term for that, but yeah, no, I I, I like that too. Mm-hmm. Are there other horror movie tropes that you really enjoy? Is that a trope you think you've seen a lot of them? Uh, a lot of the good ones, anyway. No. Because yes. I, I mean, yeah, I was gonna say that that is one thing that I think. Caveat did really well that I don't think I see a lot. Yeah. Definitely not in, like, Nicolas Cage horror movies. No offense to Nicolas Cage. What What is it with Nicolas Cage, bro? I just... I'm jealous. What jealous of his hair. Oh, yeah, that's right. The, the uh, um, automated litter box. I was like, are you adding... <laughs> I thought you were just playing, like, horror ambiance on your phone. <laughs> like, is this scary to you, Henry? <laughs> <laughs> um, One I'm not a fan of is the jump scare. I think everyone's not a fan of that. People yeah. need to stop using that. Yep, it's you're abusing your power, and obviously it's overplayed. So you know, you just look stupid. So if you use um, it in your movie. Sorry, I'm on. Uh, <laughs> Jules hor- just looks pissed. <laughs> Less, you know that's for always. I'm on like a, a catalog of all the horror movie tropes. Catalog. Um. Which mean a caveat. What you got? Oh yeah. Yeah. What what do you got? Share with us, brother Miles. Uh, I mean, I can go. Do through. I can read out the list. I guess they're they're. Bring um, out your dad. So far, none of them. I'm I'm a huge fan of. Uh, creepy music for warning the viewer. The jump scare, evil clown. When you say like not a fan of like because it you feel they're like used under- too much unpleasant or oh you just think it's overused. Okay, like- well I c- we can go through it. Creepy music. Uh, forewarning. It's all right, I guess. I guess if used properly. Right. But like it, it, it can ruin the experience. It can, it, it can ruin the experience. Yeah. Um, jump scare, used too much. Mm-hmm. You need to... I think Caveat, Caveat a did a really good job. They used maybe like two jump scares and they weren't that bad. Um, but they their main focus was getting that creepiness level yeah. up. And that's what that's what scary movies need, need to do nowadays. Yeah. Um, evil clown. I don't really. I mean, I guess it's like a trope. It's not really. It's more of just like a character trope almost. Mm-hmm. Um, just yeah, yeah. It's it's fine. Uh, next one is don't go there. 
This is where everyone in the audience knows that just because the lead character heard a rustling sound doesn't mean she should explore some creepy dark room in the middle of the night while everyone else is sleeping. Mm-hmm. Ignore it. It's I probably mean, the washing machine. I mean, I think it's sort of realistic, but at the same time, you do are like, you know, don't go in there. Don't go in there. I man. guess. I guess. Here's the thing. Because you know it's a If you movie. know, if you know you're being chased by a killer or something, then don't do it. Then don't do it. Yes. yes. But if it's like, you, you know, think this, the, it's setting it's, up something yeah. in the beginning, then that's fine. Yeah. Exactly. A uh, girl runs and falls. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Nice tits, bitch. bitch. <laughs> That's coming up soon. Time to rewatch. Yeah, it is. Anniversary of us watching that. I mm-hmm. guess. I don't know. Our it's gonna be. We a, didn't watch it's a it tradition. Last year. It's a tradition. Tradition. Well, we yeah. gotta watch the third one. We didn't watch it last year. No, we didn't. So it's not a tradition then, Henry. We can make it a tradition starting now. Can make you a tradition. Uh, the crazy tradition. girl that no one believes. Yeah. Uh, for example, Invisible Man. Yeah. The movie, the the one we saw. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a. Oh, you you didn't mean the book. The Nor the the nineteen fifties movie or whatever. Yeah, that is good though. Uh, Nature's Revenge. Nature's Revenge. For eons, mankind has stepped onto the environment with zero pushback until nature finally reacts in righteous fury. I guess. Uh, I is don't that a tro- know. That's a trope. The ultimate example of this trope is the great white shark in Jaws. Hmm. I guess it's just sort of like. That's like a... A creature in nature. Oh, okay. Sort of. Yeah. See, the other example... Like anaconda. Hit birds as well. And an, 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 anaconda. Anaconda. Anna, Anna Kendrick. Yeah. <laughs> Anna Kendrick is nature's revenge. <laughs> we just put her on, on like a snake body. <laughs> um, uh, split everyone up and try to solve the problem separately. I just sprayed my leg. My leg. I didn't. Um, Say it. Don't spray it. Uh, which is like, you know, Scooby-Doo, classic trope. Um, yeah. I don't really see it happen that much, because most movies nowadays are just kind of like, haha, let's not split up, because that'd be stupid, and then they get killed anyway. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, and don't they talk about tropes and Scream? They do, yeah, yeah, they do that. Okay. Do you see the trailer for the new one? No, I haven't yet. But I want to check it out. Is I don't it know. good? I don't know. Let's review it right now on the podcast. No. Tell me about it. Underwater foot grab. Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Number 15. Underwater foot grab. Underwater foot. Wait, what do you say? Foot grass? Grab. 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 Why oh. would I say foot grass? I don't know. I was like, <laughs> what? Because <laughs> I was confused because I don't know why you said it. Screenwriters it and novelists love to use this murky area to subliminal... Sublin... Subliminal. Subliminally, 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 sublime signal the unknown and therefore the creepy. A uh, cute child doing creepy things, The Shining. Yeah, it's an example. It's not that's any more of your baby home videos. Like okay, cute child doing creepy things is something really only parody movies use now. Now yeah. you know because mm. they did it once in Shining, and everyone else is just like making fun of it now. Yeah. Because it's a terrible movie. Because it's kidding. a terrible trope. No, it is. Yeah. Psych did it. Yep. The Deuce Ex Machina, the expert. We've seen Ex Machina. It's a... uh, this trope is used ma- mostly for exposition. So like a person who's like knows all about mm-hmm. a certain subject. Yeah. Uh, an older demonologist with newspaper clippings who explains the evil spirit's origins. That's just the same. That's like the, the expert one. The one yeah, we just it read. It really is. Yeah. Um, the Science evil, of the Lambs. The evil doll that comes to life. Expert. Um, the evil doll. Yeah, Chucky. He's a bastard. I mean, and yeah, sla- don't I forget guess. Slappy from Goosebumps. Oh yeah, yeah. My my dude. The final girl. The final girl. What? That's like uh, at the end of the movie, the final girl is the girl who survives. Oh, got it. Um, there's actually a movie we should watch at some point called The Final Girls. It's a comedy sort of okay um she'll survive she's always the one who survives why maybe because most people in the audience identify with the shy character and she's not a slut (laughs) yes um the refrigerator door trick another door well you've done a 
thorough check of the house, oh. and there do not appear to be any burglars. Time for a midnight snack. You grab the mustard and croissants and cheese just as you close the door. There's the burglar with the chainsaw. I thought it was going to be just mustard. Like <laughs> <laughs> You open the the, rush, the refrigerator door, and he's in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's he what I was mustard. thinking. That's what I was thinking they were, got, they were going with it. Yeah. Wait, what? 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 I'm Say so it. confused. Answer it. I'll read it. You grab the mustard and croissants and cheese just as you close the door. There's the burglar with a chainsaw standing there and grinning at you. Sure, he's freezing cold. Does that mean that he was in the fridge? What does that mean? That's he's weird. freezing cold. They heard your idea. He said sta- he's standing there, though. Yeah. Why is he freezing cold? Because he was out in the win- dead of winter. Uh, the medicine cabinet place. mirror trick. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you know this one? Is that the same? Isn't that kind of the same thing where you just open up the mirror cabinet and close it? And but this is the use of a mirror. Yeah. But like still, it's, it's like he's not there. and he, It's different, he's there. Henry. It's different. At least he's not cold this time. Yeah. Do they, they use that? But maybe he needs some medicine. They use that in psych. Medicini. You, in psych? Yeah. Which episodes? The Tuesday. Thursday, Tuesday. The, the, the Tuesday. The, Thursday? I don't remember. Miles, you're the psych expert here? I am. you get us wrong? Oh I, remember, I remember scenes and shots and not stuff. Not only did you not want to watch it on Tuesday the 17th, but also you, you get the name wrong. we literally just watched it less than a month. So what, Miles? It would have been our first annual psych tradition. A diverse group of teenagers who've wandered into this haunted burial ground one by one instead of all at once. What? I also just realized that wouldn't be annual because Tuesday the 17th would move around. But anyway, <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> uh, no, because you always know whenever there's a Friday the 13th, that Tuesday the 17th, right? That That's how it works? <laughs> you like ask the calendar. Right? Right? <laughs> it starts talking. Yes, Miles, it's actually. Uh, right. No cell service. Lost critical item, like keys. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, no cell service? Where Where did the rest of this list go? I can't. It doesn't sound like... <laughs> now that I found my keys, suddenly the car doesn't start. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Guess I'll die. The know-it-all Literally. archetype. <laughs> Architect? Oh, you know all no. about buildings, don't this you? This is, again, just the expert. This guy who did not believe in... Ho- and now facing the serial killer on Halloween night and is decapitated. It's what? decapitated. I don't know. The abandoned place. Everything is abandoned. Oh my god. It's the so vengeful abandoned. spirit. The weapon is just out of reach while you're being choked. <laughs> my keys. <laughs> the lights just happen to turn out one by one as the killer approaches. What? That happened in um, ghost stories. Did it? Yeah. Remember? He's like exploring the basement. He's like a security guard or something. Oh, that and then one. the lights go down. Yep, go I forgot yeah. that one. I don't know why I remembered that. That's so specific, but <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, sorry. Uh, running down the middle of the road while being chased by a car. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, that is very stupid. It wasn't really dead. Looking good after the demon exits your body. <laughs> you're just like, you're just. You like exp- they've expelled the demon from your body, and you just like get up and look at the camera. And now, as you can see, my skin is so much clearer. Oh, it's I- like uh oh, that'd be good, <laughs> like a uh, like a makeup commercial. Yeah. The kid doesn't realize it's a ghost. He doesn't realize it's a ghost. So like the kid is like child yeah. in- child innocence and is Bruce like Willis. you know masturbating or something. The ghost is like you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> but it's a ghost, and it's like oh, I wasn't, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Uh, the one last scare after you thought everything was resolved. Mm-hmm. It was bloody and traumatic and exhausting. Everyone but you and the final girl were killed. But together, you valiantly slew the, the, evil, the evil swamp monster. But as you walk away, his hand rises from the slime. This is a great trope for an aspiring screenwriter because it leaves open the possibility for a sequel or three. Mm-hmm. That's it. Franchise. That's all of them. Yeah. Mine wasn't on the list, but whatever. Which is, what again? The Oh, yeah. The, was it the one you said about Caveat? Yeah, like yeah. the horror tropes. Here's more horror tropes. Were any of those your second favorite? No. See, mine's more just like story-based. Yeah. I think these were more like, 
in the moment kind of yeah. you know what i mean and like it's like the genre sort of defining mm -hmm. yeah you're in it for the story oh yeah no i see what you mean yeah based on like the situation yeah those are all just like in the moment kind of things and that yeah. and the one i'm talking about is like has to do with like know, maybe, maybe, well it has to do with story mechanics yeah really Whereas those are just, yeah, sort of one-off. I just, I the reason I mentioned it was because it was like, it was in my head and I'm like, I would be fucking terrified if something like that happened to me. It was like, oh, I, I go somewhere or I go upstairs and, you know, Connor's laying down or something. um, And then I like come downstairs and she's also laying down here and it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Which one's her? <laughs> one of them's you. It just like pisses you off. Like you just keep going into different rooms and she's just like teleporting. <laughs> she's sleeping in every single one. Like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I just got a text. Oh, you have what? Um, My mom needs us to go. Needs me to go visit. Uh, check on my uncle. Your uncle? Yeah. Do you. Our uncle, actually. What? Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah, very funny. No, no, what did she actually say? I'm serious. Why? 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 I don't, I don't so know. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, I'm serious. She wants uh she wants us to go see Check. if he's okay. She, she, our uncle. Yes, our uncle. That's so why I have to go with you. You can't just okay, fine. Yeah. Ugh, okay. Well, Fine, I guess that's fine. Um, also, take do, these five do beers. I, okay, do I? Well, also, uh, can I can I pee before we go? No. Fuck. All right. No, fine. I guess I'll go when we get there. Let's go. All right, fine. Let's fine. go. Fuck you. Can we stop to get some food on the way? <laughs>